Alright guys, um, Dak Nano over here. Just want to give you guys a quick rundown of the new um, update that happened for Rising Thunder. Per usual, I'm only going to use Dauntless because Dauntless is my main character. And I'm going to go over a couple of the small things that we've changed. Now the big thing that happened was Dauntless was giving another um, Alpha. So her standard Alpha is Alpha. Her standard Alpha is Cold Drill. We all know we use Cold Drill in many things. And um, with Cold Drill, you know, we're able to extend our combos, you know what I mean? Cold Drill is really very useful, you know what I mean? Like, catch your opponent like that in many different ways you can use that. Now, this one is called Diesel Strike. Now, it's pretty cool. It works aesthetically, anyway, not aesthetically, 100%, but it works just like Cold Drill. You know, you can rush halfway, you can rush full, rush, excuse me, full screen with the attack, get with armor the, the entire way through, and then you put both your fists into the opponent, much like Cold Drill was with one, but this time it's with two. Now, one thing notice directly off the jump, well, two things. This one hits high, okay? Look, 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 where, he, look where he hits him in the chest. Smack in the chest, lifting him up, opening up new combo opportunities. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. And also check the damage. The damage of it is actually 10 points more than Cold Drill, because Cold Drill is at 90. Now, uh, just real basic, I'm going to show you the differences between... Um, Diesel Strike and Cold Drill. Now, first, let me go over Cold Drill real quick. Some of the most basic things you should know about Cold Drill, and um, I'll go into that. Now, Cold Drill, you're able to confirm off of, um, you know, crouching lights. I don't know if it's, yeah, you can confirm off of either one, two, three, or four crouching light attacks. So you just see my one, one, two. All right, check the counter. One, two, three. All right. I actually missed my input, sorry. You get all six, okay? And you were able to confirm off of crouching, uh, crouching medium to a cold drill. Um, crouch heavy, nothing. Standing heavy, nothing. Uh, medium overhead, nothing. But standing medium, you can confirm off of it. Staying light, you can't really confirm off of it because it's light. I think the block's done. Well, actually, you can, excuse me. Once you get close, though. Close to standing, uh, standing light. But um, Diesel Strike is actually a little bit different. You can actually uh, confirm off your crouching lights. I want to say do in part that because it actually hits high. So let's try crouching lights. One crouching light. None. So you still get to see with the two hits. The two hits that the Diesel Strike gives us. One, two. Nothing there. It's two hits because the Diesel Strike is also two hits. One, two, three. Nothing. Okay, so you can do that. Um, you can still confirm off your crouching medium, um, standing heavy nothing, crouching heavy nothing, um, overhead medium nothing, let's try standing light though, close standing light, still nothing, let me try it again, yeah nothing, once more for good measure, nope, can't confirm off that either. One thing you still can do though is you can... You can still do, you know how cold drill allows you to do that in the in the air. You can still confirm off of that, but um, hold on, because it's training mode. You can only confirm off with your jumping light. Oh, excuse me. It's not doing this right. Hold on, I, I, I can get this. Yeah, there you go. You can still do that. You know what I mean? Um, difference between cold drill and Diesel Strike, Cold Drill you're able to confirm off of many different attacks, but Diesel Strike allows you to extend combos a little bit further. Like um, um I'll show you I'll show you in a, in a separate clip. The way I'm recording this, just, this is a this is a total character break, but the way I'm recording this, the monitor I'm using is very lag heavy, so I can't really land these uh the combo I'm gonna show you, but I'm going to try nonetheless. Uh, we all know let's, let's go back to Cold Drill real quick. We all know that um, your overdrive combo, one of the easiest ones, one that you know you can definitely do without you know thinking too hard. Um, standing heavy into overdrive, right? You do that, you go through your overdrive, and then at the last minute you you can mash out. Oh snap! I guess I did too wrong. I'm not gonna mash it out because uh, the lag I said before. But you would shit anyway. You would catch him with the cold drill, right? And that'd be the end of the combo because. Um, doesn't really go far. 
but with Diesel Strike, you can actually extend that. You can, because when you hit him with Diesel Strike, your, uh, the opponent will actually go in the air, so you can uh, connect advance underneath it. So far, the only thing I've been able to get off of it, uh, okay, I, I did it before, I'll just show you in the clip, but the only thing you really get off of it is a standing heavy. That's all I re really I've been able to do. The most damaging option you can do uh, standing medium. Uh, you can't do standing medium into heavy because uh, the invincibility or the frames come back in. Um, so what I would say to do from that is to go for a grab. You know, after hit stun decays, you can just go for a grab because you should be like really close. Or you can just fake out and just use the vandal hook still to make him think, oh, you're about to do something. You know, woo, and then just go for the grab. Like I said in a couple of other videos, but um, as I've only messed with this for about like five minutes, this is all I've been able to come up with. Hope you guys learn something about it um this is only for dauntless though i haven't had a chance to check everyone else out but hopefully you learned something if not hey let me know it's been your boy take care thanks so much